Hello everyone and welcome to Gaming FDL. My name is Josh and this is The Mims Beginning. It's a god game in a kind of fantasy, weird sci-fi world and you get prayed to by these cute little three-eyed creatures here, the Mims. And there are really nice cutscenes actually <laughs> where they talk to each other and they're all silly and... Uh, uh, Basically the idea is that they crashed on this world and it seems that space is made up of floating platforms where you can build stuff on it. And what we have to do is create a home for these little guys. And it's such a weird combination of, of stuff because obviously you don't normally get god games in like sci-fi worlds and we've got to place this kind of home base it's called a sci tower and it has an area of effect so we've got to make sure we place it pretty centrally so we can actually do stuff how about hang on let's find a good place here that that sounds about right and then they pray to it and it rises out of the ground and then we can build more stuff like these bio one plants there are already, whoops, a couple pla planted here. And look at that. They throw bananas and these creatures eat them. We can get rid of these creatures actually once the Psy Tower is built. But man, this game looks like it's straight out of the 90s. I've got to say, it's super old school uh, gameplay style of the god, god game strategy stuff, which I haven't seen in so long. And it's so nice to, to see people building the games that they want to see played and made and stuff like that so what we will hopefully do is build a, a happy little uh, extractor here which can extract the biomass which is one of the resources at the top here along with gems which we use later um, but it can extract the biomass from these banana chucking plants and how, hang on, I'm, I'm not entirely clear on how I get the psionic explosion, which is what we use to, like, killing bounce these things off of the island. So we've got to get rid of those as quick as possible. I think it might just be a uh, specific amount of psi power that we need in the top right here. So once that is charged, we will explode those gross little things that are eating our space bananas off of the planet. And we already have one silo here, which is used to collect and store the biomass that goes into here. Our happy little mims are throwing bananas into this thing, which looks really evil, by the way. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be standing too close to that. The controls in this game are a little bit wonky. To rotate the camera, like, this way and, like, up and down, we put the mouse at the edge of the screen, which is kind of not what I was expecting. Right, now we have enough for a wind turbine. I think we will plop one of these down. And it needs to be quite high, as you would expect, for, uh, you know, optimum wind efficiency. So, can we put it up there? Oh, it's outside of our influence area. I should have built that side tower somewhere else, but never mind. Plop it down there, and then it'll produce energy for us, which can then power the bio lab where we make, like, space chickens. And then we can sell the space chickens for gems, which then I don't know what they're for. One of the weirdest things, I think, about this game is there is a smell -o meter Where's the, uh, where's the button to show you how, how smelly you are? Basically, this bar at the top, there's something that explains it somewhere. Oh, it, here it is. There's a smell of fruit, which attracts pests and horrible things like those uh, slugs and also your creature smell because if they don't wash and if they don't have houses as they don't at the moment uh, the creature smell attracts predators which then eat all of your mims and that's not a good thing uh, and also if you have too many uh, of these little pests that eat your biomass uh, they can also attract things beyond that I don't know what happens if that you get too many of them but yeah, that's generally not something we want to see. Let's make our mims a little bit happier. Everyone, gather round. 
and I will use this to make you happier and less smelly. There we go. Obviously that's not the perfect solution, so what we're going to build after this is a house. Wind turbines are very useful on islands where there is a medium or fast wind. Turbines located in such areas will generate a lot of energy, and as you can see here, the wind speed is high. So that's that's quite good. That's like in between those two. So what we need now is to get rid of these guys. Is that is there a third one? Is the one over here or did it move? You're not allowed to move. You're not allowed to get out of here. You slimy jerk. And my area of influence is not ideal for these guys. Just zap them. Zap them. Come on. Have I got enough energy? Zap them. Ah ha ha. Oh, I didn't quite make it. If you if you angle it right, you can just knock them straight off of the island, which is what I want to happen. I think if you angle it uh, or plant these things in the right place as well, they can actually just throw it directly into the the generator, which is useful, very useful. It's quicker than getting your mims to do it for you. Zap! Yeah, that's right. Chuck you 30 feet in the air. It's what, no more than you deserve. Okay, now we have enough biomass to place a bio lab down, which is where we get the space chickens from. Quickly zap him. Ha! He went straight up. Nice. I want to push him off the island, see if I can do that. You move... And also, the Mims move, because I don't want to zap them. I like them. I've got to keep these guys happy and not smelly. I should probably teach them to wash every day. Yes, pray to me, my minions. Build the space bio lab of primal chicken, space chickens. I don't, I don't know what's going on here, honestly. But now we have uh, stuff like stuff to do. Is there stuff to do? Oh, there's a glass bit. I didn't know that. Cute. Okay, what do we need here? Oh, we need 150 biomass before we can research the Chono, which is a chicken. Space chicken. Come on, just call it what it is. Space chicken. Oh no, I got my Mim! At least that fruit stealing bugger is dead. Seriously, I put you all the way over there so that wouldn't happen. Come on. Oh no, the physics are skidding them into the river! Can I destroy you? Can I burn you down? I think there's ability for there's an ability for that. There we go. That's enough of that. Okay, what we need to build next is more of these silos so that we can gather a bigger total of biomass, build ourselves a house which needs 200 and a uh, maybe a spaceport so we can trade our space chickens for space gems. Be happy, my people. Pray and make feasts for me. Now we have enough biomass, we can research the Chono. And then, how much do we need to create one? Another 150. Okay, what we need now is the sudden pickup ability, which is brilliant because it creates ghosty bunnies. Hang on, get as many of these guys in the circle as possible. Two is not quite enough. Three, no. Ah! Oi! Walk together, everyone. There we go. Okay, three of them. Look, space bunnies, and it makes them go super fast, which is brilliant for collecting lots of biomass really quickly. How what are we at now? 130, 140. Oh, that was a rim shot. Close. Close, but no cigar. No cigar. You guys would not be good at basketball. Okay, 150. Now we have enough to create ourselves a space chicken, which should come out of here. And then the space chicken eats lots of the bananas, and here we go. Hey, you don't have proper legs, do you? Health and growth. Yes, to grow it needs more biomass, which it just eats off the ground. It eats the bananas that get chucked about, and that's how it grows into an adult. And when it's an adult, we can get the spaceport, load them into a spaceship, and sell them, which sounds a bit mean-hearted, but you know, we've got to survive here. We've got to, 
We've got to keep on going, otherwise our mims will just be grumpy all the time. Okay, we now have enough for a house, which is where, obviously, our mims live. Plug this down here. They will go and pray to it, and they're really fast now because of my special abilities. And soon they won't be grumpy all the time, which means that they won't go really slow, like this guy right here. Oh god, everyone's grumpy now. You're building a house. Be happy. Man, you would, would have thought they would have been grateful for benevolent gods looking after them after their spaceship crashes or anything, but no, apparently not. As I said, this game is really cool. It's nice to see a new god game coming out. Uh, some of the more recent ones, that, like the number of god game titles has been really sparse and I have I have missed it. I've, I've had to go back and play black and white multiple times just because there weren't any that I was really interested in. But this early access title is looking promising. Um, the, as I said, the only really, really thi uh, weird things I think about it are the controls are a bit wonky because I use keyboard and mouse and the keyboard uh, does exactly the same thing as the mouse because obviously you can s scroll to zoom in and then the Q and E to zoom in as well, but normally that's like rotate or something, which makes it easier. Uh, and like moving your mouse to the edge of the screen is a bit weird, so maybe some options for that sort of thing would be nice to see. And also the graphics. Not saying that they look bad, it's just saying they look kind of dated. That's not a bad thing, because this game will really stand out. It looks so different from everything I've seen in the last like five years and that's great and it, it's got its own style it's doing its own thing and I'm really happy to see it so check out the links in the description if you want to see the Steam page and the website if you have enjoyed the video then give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more of me playing this when the uh, the future updates the early access updates come out then let me know in the comments or, or anything like that because I'd love to play it and if you want to see me do that, then that would be awesome. If you haven't subscribed already, I do daily videos on weird, cool, free and interesting indie games. So press that subscribe button if you want to see those. And until next time, eat more space chicken.